Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a Skyworth Smart LED TV. Model 32 TB7000. Not turning on and has no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you like electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other electronic gadgets, you came to the right channel. So make sure to like our videos and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. One of the terminals of the power MOSFET is burned. This may be the reason why the TV is not turning on. Let's connect an external power supply to the 12 volts rail to test if the system and the panel are working before we repair the main power supply. We have a standby indicator. Let's see if the panel is OK. There is a display. Seems the panel and the system are ok. Let's go ahead and repair the main power supply. Let's remove the hybrid board. So let's remove the power MOSFET. Hot air or a soldering iron can't separate the terminal from the pad because they have been welded together due to high temperatures.
The MOSFET is leaking. The PWM driver is also damaged so let's remove and we will going to modify it. Ay, dahil tumalat bang mangig dito itatan When modifying a power supply Some components will be removed Let's use STRW6053 and for the modification. Let's first connect pin number 3 which is the source. 
This resistor is this resistor. Next is the drain which the pin 1. It will be connected to the chopper transformer. A bigger soldering tip should be used in this area, the pad is thick, and it serves as the heat sink of the power MOSFET. Let solder and join pins 5 and 7 according to the diagram and connect them later. Now pin 4 which is the VCC, will be connected to the existing VCC of the power supply. Mostly a PWM power supply has a VCC which is about 16 volts DC. I don't want to connect the STRW6053N by a long wire because it will create noise and it will lower the efficiency of the STRW6053N. Next, the feedback which is pin 6, will be connected to pin 4 of the optocoupler. Lastly, pins 5 and 7, they will be connected to the ground.
Let's solder a ceramic capacitor to pins 3 and 4 of the optocoupler which is needed. 103 is 10,000 picofarad. Now all connections are complete. The main fuse is open. Let's solder my 220 ohms 20 watt resistor to the line of the main fuse for safety testing. Now let's test it. We have 12.29 volts now. Seems the power supply is ok now, so let's remove the resistor and put a regular fuse. Let's use a small glass fuse, the rating is 3.15 amp 250 volts AC. Now let's put back the hybrid board and see if it will work.
We have a display now. The STRW6053N is not creating heat which is good. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. The power supply modification is successful. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel by liking the video and subscribing, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again this is Tefs, see you again next time, bye for now.